everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Drambo and the remarkable play pits. <laughs> it's just so cool. Uh, so I did do play pits a while ago and, you know, it's I, even then I said, like, if if it's even it's worth buying Drambo just to get play pits. Play pits is a, like an expansion pack you can buy from child of the corn dog now child does know we're doing the stream and he said if it, if it can make it he'll pop in but that is not really it's okay if he doesn't because if you're not sure how to install play pits i did a video there's a link in the description to to a video that i did which the first part of the video shows you how to install it because it's a little bit it's two parts to install and then and then that's it but it's all explained in the video play bits is an incredible uh piece of work from child of the corn dog each sound is made up of many uh like it's made up of like four samples and that's what we're going to be taking a look at we're going to be taking a look at play pits and how it works and what it does and building some sort of stuff so everything you heard there including the drums was play pits so we're going to start by adding a new i'm going what i'm going to do is i'm just going to duplicate i'm up I'm going to make a new track here so track four so there's nothing there and i'm going to go to uh track number three sort of thing if you like so instrument number three now i'm also you might notice that i've got nine instruments here and i have slots for another three so i'll i'll probably have time i'll show you how you add another instrument slot in or how i add another instrument slot in anyway so radio here we go let's see so we're on um scene number four which won't make any difference to what we're going to do now track number three so i'm just going to open this like this so track number three here i'm going to tap on this little plus button and you know that uh drambo is an auv3 so anything that's a drambo instrument can be used in any other daw so you can put this into cubasis into nano studio whatever you like you know and use it as, a, as an instrument. We're gonna go to instrument rack, okay? And there, here is where I have my play pits installed. Now, like I said, if you're not sure how to install play pits, then uh, just watch the other video and it explains it in the first part of that video, but I don't wanna waste the time now doing it again. Play pits has just been put on sale for five quid, five pounds, I think it'll five dollars, five pounds, uh, normally 650. So if you do have Drambo already, this is one of the the best buys you can get for drambo okay so i'm going to go down to melodic here and these are all the different patches now you've just heard a couple of them the drum patches you heard with i think glitch pitch one and there's, there's a couple of drum bits and pieces you can play with but mainly it's the melodic stuff so for instance i'm going to play with this uh b-u-f-f-t here and once it loads like this You'll see this is this is the play pits instrument, and if I press a key, I'm like, oh, hi child, how are you doing? But the soup section here, this is where you'll have loads of fun, as well as all the other stuff that's been put in for you. Now you can of course use other effects with this, or you can stack up play pit instruments in one track so these is this is the mix for the four samples Very speed is very cool. If we go into PPT1, we can play with the frames, the reverb and the dirt, the tremolo chamber. And you can edit any of this stuff.
we could go into two which has oh yeah let me show you this as well the disrupt the disrupt is absolutely awesome let's give it some level Control all the different pitches you can control the samples so one each sample you can swap out the samples if you want to you can play with the pitch envelope for each sample you can do all this cool stuff you also have effects as well so that you can control the different effects that has been included in each instrument so really really a truly huge amount of work has gone into this <laughs> It's a beautiful thing and we don't need to keep going back into the uh, into the instrument browser we can actually just swap between instruments here at the top so this this is very cool so I could add this to my track so I think that's what I'll do what I will first do is I'll go back to three where I have this one going on and I'll just play a note here Let's go to the mixer, turn down 9 a little bit So I'm going to record a little bit of this in. And I'm going to make sure it's four bars. That's, don't forget, that's track nine playing there. But we're going to record something onto this. So... We're going to record that in this automation now. I'm just going to switch record on. And I've now recorded that as automation. Now you can't see it, right? But if we go into edit. You'll see that the automation is recorded into the XY. So we 
record that in his automation as well. So just hit record. record as much automation as you like so now if you want to go in you can find edit automation in drambo this little button here takes you to the fine automation edit control Okay, and here you will see all your automation that you've added and you can actually manually add it in here and, and automate further. But I find it easy just to automate what I want. And if I wanted to make any further adjustments, I would just literally just hit this button here and then I can hone in on each individual parameter that I did set for automation. And you can see the automation in and you can, you know, you can go and draw new automation in. That's number three, sorry. <clears throat> and you can see any automation that you've drawn for any of the instruments at any of any time if we go up to say there I might go there you'll see there's automation I've put in on track one on the instruments as well so Drambo is is also very powerful in that respect is it fact that you can just go in and edit the automation that you already have so <laughs> So I will duplicate this one we've just done. Okay, actually, um, yeah, because I was on a, I was on a blank one. Let me just long hold this and remove it. So now I'm just going to go to number five here. Now I can rename these anytime. The this the scenes, if you like. I'm going to remove this one here just by quickly flicking up and choosing delete. So now number five is just going to be. That first one, that second one we just added in. <clears throat> I love this so much. Right, so I'm, I'm now going to go to track number four. But before I do that, I'm going to show you uh, uh, a quick tip for you can do in Drambo, okay? So let's just go back to this. You'll see that normally Drambo is eight to eight tracks okay but you can add you can add more you can add more tracks in so what we're going to do is we're going to add some more we're going to add another well I'll add at least one more okay and then you have two like uh auxiliary buses that you can add effects to and then you can go to your kind of um where are we going here let's go back up to our mixer you can go to your mixer and send the amount of effect that you want to either a or b that's you know, if you wanted to use one reverb or one EQ, something like that, you know. Or you could remove those and just replace them with a track. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just add another track in. Now, you need to do this. I, I find the easiest way to do this. I don't even know if there's any other ways to do it. But the easiest, easiest way to do this is to actually go into the mixer view here, which is this. You can go into mix or you can just choose. Let me just scroll up to the top where the mixer is. You can choose um, when it says track here, you can choose main and then it will highlight on the mixer track. Okay, so I'm gonna, 
what what I'm going to do is I'm going to long hold on the thing like this and it says, it says copy now this is just going to copy all that information including the instruments from that track doesn't really matter because I'll show you why we'll go copy there so I've copied track 9 now I'm going to tap on this little plus button at the end which is just after master and oh hang on a minute hang on a sec I'm going to go back to library make sure you're on your, your, your top level library and choose paste and that's going to paste that track and it's going to call it number 14 that's because it's number 14 along but if you drag it and just move it along we can place it next to number nine then we can long hold on it oops we, just, gosh. we can just tap on it and i'm just going to call this number 10 now you can call it anything you like so you can name the tracks however you wish i've called it 19 i want to call it 10 sorry idiot right so i've called it number 10 now so there we have track 10 if i go to track 10 now now if i just take off the mixer and i go over to track 10 you'll see that it has this this thing here but we'll just grab this sorry i just want to show you there's a couple of ways you can do this you can just pull down on an instrument to get rid of it and now there's nothing there and now i can add in a, a, another instrument if i need it later so this is that's the way you add tracks in okay so Oh, I would suggest if you wanted more tracks than the normal eight to CV MIDI, do it with nothing, no instruments in first, and then just save it as like say ten tracks or whatever you know, in the in the thing. So I'm just going to hit save on this, so it remembers everything. So now I've got ten tracks to play with. And normally, if you watch my videos, I usually just stick with the eight. If I wanted to add reverbs or any effects, now I could do that here by going to either A or B and just adding in a processor effect, either an AUV3 or one of the included effects inside Drambo. That's how you can do that. Anyway, we're not doing that at the moment. We're going to go to, I'm going to see what's what, what. So I've got instruments here, here now, nothing in number four. And we're going to add something in there. So let's go to uh, generator instrument rack here and we'll go to melodic. And let's see what we've got going on. Clockwork pad, we'll try that. So if I play. No, Jim, you, you need to use my link. I don't quite like that, actually. Let's just go back to this scene a minute. Just stop the other track. And you can mix between your samples, like I said, yeah, we could go to our effects. And Put some delay on it. Oh, that's juicy.
Oh, listen. Give this four bars. one so we'll add in another one now and now i'm gonna add the uh, drums in so so you heard some drums from play pits before so we'll go into our instrument rack which is where they'll be we'll go to drums let's try this one so split kit it's kind of they're, they're all very very cool so <laughs> If we look, look at this split kit one right. And I like if I go into here to my disruptor. Let's give it some some verb, shall we? Give it some like fills. So I'm, I think I'm going to use that because I think that's really cool. So we can pan it. We can pinch flick it. A little flick back down. Listen, if I get... I'm going to set four bars for this to keep everything uniform. And I'm just going to count myself in. Okay, stop, start again. So did I not pick up my, I might not have picked up my, right, I'm going to try and pick this up. Here we go. Now what we can do.
is kind of if we go back to our this one now hit record and I'll record that automation See, what I like, what I like about this is if we could, <coughs> excuse me, I will, I will do this in another video. I'm, I will use, because you can use Drambo uh, as an AUV3, okay, which is, which is really cool. And you can use Drambo as an AUV3 within itself as well, which is handy for kind of recording in MIDI, but it gets a little bit complex. Well, we could take Drambo and put it into AUM and have, 10 Drambos <coughs> playing as well, or we could take it into Cubasis or something and record this as an instrument. Now, although Drambo is an AUV3 host as well, if you're using Drambo as an AUV3, you can't put AUV3s into Drambo if you're using it, but you can use all these cool instruments and stuff. And of course, because Play Pits is a Drambo instrument, you can use that as an AUV3 instrument in any of your other doors as well, which is just absolutely bloody brilliant. It's just awesome. So now we've got this cool track playing. Now I'll, I'll, I'll play and then we'll listen to some of very, very cool stuff from Play Pits. The cool thing is you can take, which I'll show you in a minute, you can take one kit in Play Pits and you can go absolutely bonkers just one preset and there are loads of stuff going on in there it's absolutely great so i'll take me clock yeah no i'll leave it on it should change automatically i think now loop off So I think that's absolutely, I, I, I love it. I just love, I love, well, yeah, I do like this strange experimental stuff. I, I really do. I don't think I'm eccentric. <laughs> you know, I think, well, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay. So let's add, <laughs> the tittery lunatics back. Let's add a fresh, a fresh track. Okay, so something new. So, and again, the cool thing with Drambo as an arrangement instrument is, is, is using it with as a sequencer is the fact that we can control how all of this behaves. Like, you know, that went through quite quick, but you'd want, in the real world, you'd really want this to be going on a little bit longer, you know, you, more bars and etc. And you, So you can set all that here. It's dead easy. I, I've, I've shown that in other videos as well. So... Uh, we're gonna start with this again, which is I'm gonna take this off. There's nothing there's nothing in this track. I'm gonna have that loop. And then we're gonna go to an empty slot, which is slot number six here, and we're gonna add in a play pits, of course. Now that's our AUV3, so we're gonna be instrument rack. So you get some bonus stuff, let's say I don't know. I don't I haven't been through most of this stuff. You do also get the samples as well. Now, you, although you can't redistribute the samples themselves as another pack, which is normal, you can, of course, use the samples in other, you know, instruments to make your own instruments and stuff. Let's see what this basic final kit is. So you have a basic drum kit. You can...
basic vinyl kit. Which is very nice. We just wanna we wanna be we have some defaults. Um we no drums. Uh, what which one I haven't you heard? So I think. Just go along here and. So bear in mind though, this is one. This is glitch combo number one, right? Change all the slices, the pitch. The samples. I said you can go into say your play pits one and play pits two and adjust all the cool stuff. Can you can you can you the the wear that goes into something like that? It, this 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 pack is 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 mind boggling. It's just it's fast. stuff so that's kind of your that's kind of your drums kind of thing if we look at instrument melodic this is where it gets really fun look at all this so all this stuff it's got all them all them different samples and all that different work done on it you know so if we choose say let's go from the bottom what's this zoof it's just lovely listen Be running out of blinking CPU power here. So I go back. So what I'm going to do, I was going to let me just save this one. And I'm going to start a new project. And I'm just going to do the eight tracks me CV because I'm using a lot of a lot of CPU. Um, I'm going to go to oh, instrument rack and melodic. I'm going to go back down to say whoops. Let's try that. Lovely, isn't it? Just 
just lovely and like I said you can stack a couple of these you could add another one another instance of a uh, play pit to the same instrument of course um, let's see uh, let's see what's this what we wash wash washy wishy <laughs> so now we've got all I need to do now is I need to create a mixer and I'm just going to create a layers mixer and add uh, uh, number two here so I need to attach number one this is right and also I need to attach number two here and now I've now I've added a layers mixer I can Some stuff I'll take that off and I'll just use this one right guys I I'm gonna play through a few more of these while you say tara to each other thank you very much for joining me this evening I'll be back tomorrow Ooh, more bits and pieces of madness But I genuinely suggest, and, and I, I really, really, really think you should, if you've got Drambo, and of course, if you're into experimental stuff, Play Pit is just incredible. It's just, and it's on sale at the moment as well. You can edit the samples that are already there, or you can put new, oh, use different samples. We could say, oh, from anywhere you like, you know, you could import your own. So, let's see. Let's import some flexi spherics. These are all part of play pits. Let's try number two. Let's change that sample out, shall we? Let's try more flexi spedics. said guys thanks for joining me this evening i'm going to play through a few more of these while you say to for like maybe five minutes or something and i will see you all tomorrow Ta -da.